I received a comment regarding the way to manage multiple sewn offs on a single dashboard. So today's video will cover Tasmo Admin. It's a pretty handy tool if you have multiple sewn off or any other devices running Tasmoda firmware. First, we'll SSH into my test server and create a Docker container with the latest image. Then we'll walk through discovering the devices on the network and configuring the OTA update process. It's all pretty straightforward, so let's get to it. First, let's SSH into my test server. SSH, test server, local, QLSD, count. All right. This already already has Docker installed and everything is up to date. So using the Docker commands in the comments below, we can install Tasmo Admin. I pulled this information from Tasmo Admin's GitHub page, which is also linked below. So let's grab our Docker command line information here. Be sure to modify the volume line to store the Docker data wherever you would like. And I mapped the outside port 8000 to the inside 80. And that's it for that. Go to enter. And now that that's installed, let's uh, pull up a web browser. And we'll head over to the test server. And it was on port 8000. First thing we need to do is to register a name here. And this is kind of hard to read, so I'm gonna jump over into the settings real quick and enable night mode. I'll go ahead and click on auto scan and it prompts for an IP range to scan that's likely detected your Docker network. Enter the IP range of the network that your Sonoff devices are on. And then enter the username and password for your Sonoff devices. If you didn't set anything on your Sonoff devices, just go ahead and leave this as default. And with the username admin and the password just blank. And we're gonna click on start auto scan. Currently I have two devices. It found my front yard, Tasmoda, and my 3D printer. So we're gonna go ahead and click on save all. And now if we click on start in the top left, and we can see the sun off devices here. We have the ability to turn them on and off. Bring up my printer here. And then I hit 3D printer. Let me see my printer comes on there. And we hit it again and turn it off. Now let's set up the over the air updating. We'll go in the settings. And then at the top here, we're gonna check the box that says search for new updates. And in the OTA server IP address, we need to enter the physical IP address of the box. The Docker IP address will not work. Uh, to check that out, we can either ping test server, jump back over to my terminal window here. IP address, go. And it's gonna be this address right here. Just grab that paste it in here and then the port is going to be the outside port that we mapped it to in my case we mapped it to port 8000 just pop 8000 into there uh, we'll go ahead and select which version of Tasmodo you're using check the channel typically will be stable and I check both of these boxes for update checks I would imagine you want the firmware to be accessible through the front end and the back end and then I click save Settings have been saved. Now let's head over to the devices and then update. OTA server IP should already be listed as long with the port. I'm going to go ahead and hit automatic. And we can see here this downloaded the newest version. All right, so new version came out 12.3.1 yesterday and it's downloaded it. I already tested the updating on one of my switches here. So all you have to do is just check the box on the switch you want updated and you just click on start update and let it do its thing. And we can see here in the log that it, it has been updated successfully. And that about wraps it up for the Tasmo admin. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.